on to the shoulder rehab, okay? The only thing you need for this is a resistance band. So four out of five of the exercises we're gonna use a resistance band. Okay, so you need to make sure there's minimal resistance in your band. Some people will have a TheraBand. Some people will just have a, a, a band with handles on like that. Either is fine. Okay, what we don't want is one that's really hard to move, lots of resistance in it. Okay, we want a light, light resistance. Okay, so exercise one is going to be a front raise. Okay, so you either take the handle of the band, okay, or if you just have a TheraBand, we can just hold the band like this and we can go up. All right, and what we're looking for is enough resistance to be able to go from arms down by your side and lift straight up, okay? And we're gonna go 10 on each side and that's working your front delt, okay? Nice and slowly, stay in control of your core then obviously you're going to change sides. Okay, exercise two is going to be across your body. So you're going to start shoulder width apart. Okay, and what we're looking to try and do is just go so that our shoulder blades go together. Okay, you're going to do 10 slow. Then you're going to take your hands a little bit closer and just do 10 pulses. Okay. Exercise three is going to be rotator cuff. Okay, we've done this one before. So you're gonna hold the band with one hand, okay? This elbow is going to stay fixed in your side and we're just going to rotate out to the side. Okay, so elbow stays fixed, rotate out to the side. Okay, we can also do this one lying down the floor. Okay, so when we're lying down on the floor, we're gonna do it from the top, okay? So uh, we're going to Lie in this position, the bottom hand on the floor is going to hold the band and the top hand is going to move away. Okay, so this one I'm holding, holding the band here and the other arm is going to move away from the resistance. Okay, exactly the same. And I just find with this movement it stops you turning away from the movement to help. Okay, you're fixed in that position because we're tight against the floor. Okay, so next exercise, we need our resistance band fixed, whether it's fixed in between the door frame. Okay, I've got, um, these resistance bands came with an attachment so that you can put it uh, underneath a window frame or a door frame. Okay, we want the, it's an upright row, so we want the resistance band to be around waist height. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull in and squeeze our shoulder blades together, nice and slow be in control of the movement. Okay, we don't want to be doing this. Okay, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Hold at the top where your shoulder blades are together and then release back to the bottom. Okay, pull, hold at the top, release back to the bottom. And the final exercise for your shoulder activation, we're gonna start down on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna be in a plank position. We're going to start with our head high and we're going to go down into this position. Okay, so we're going to rock up and down, hold your core nice and tight, and we're just going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, and then press away from that position. Okay, so those are your five shoulder activation exercises, your five glute activation exercises. You should find that after that warm up with perhaps a five minute pulse raise, maybe a skip, you should be feeling warmed up and ready to go for your circuits. Hope you've enjoyed the session today. Each of the exercises you can go through two or three times. Okay, if you aim for around 15 reps on most of the exercises. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Good luck with the session and I'll see you guys soon.